Hello friends and welcome to Top of the Stack MTG. Tonight we have another great deck tech for you. This is Thermo Chandra, aka the Pinger deck. <laughs> I don't know if Pinger is actually a word, but uh, it kind of works for this deck, so might as well. Um, good, we'll start off with Thermo Alchemist. We're running four of these, of course. Uh, it's a defender, a 0-3, two drop. Tap Thermo Alchemist, deal one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, untap Thermo Alchemist. So obviously you can see where this is going. We're going to run a bunch of instances and sorceries. We're going to try to tap this guy as often as possible and do as much damage to our opponent as we can. A um, couple negatives about this is it can't hit creatures, only the actual player. Uh, but it's all right. It does a significant amount of damage. It really adds up if you've got the right instances and sorceries, which hopefully we do. Also, of course, as we, sh as we said, we have Chandra in this deck. Uh, this is the Chandra from Origins. So it's a flip card. So whenever you cast a red spell, untap Chandra. Uh, tap Chandra. Deal one damage to target player. If Chandra has dealt three or more damage this turn, exile her, then return her to the battlefield, transformed under her owner's control. So this is excellent. In a perfect world, you're able to tap her, do a point of damage, and then cast a red spell, a red instant or sorcery, hopefully, so you're also untapping your thermo alchemists. Um, untap her. Tap her, do a second point of damage, cast another spell, untap her. Do a third point of damage, she flips over, and then of course her plus one is do two points of damage to a target player. So she can do five points in one turn if you have enough mana and enough instances and sorceries, which isn't too hard with the instances and sorceries available to us in Frontier. Another key thing to note about this is if you attack for two points of damage, that also counts. So don't forget if they don't have any defenders and you want to swing in for two with her, that can help you get to the three to flip over. Uh, just another good option. And of course, she's a three drop, two mountains, and a generic. Uh, good, so we've got Thermal Alchemist and Chandra. Also, just for fun, uh, I've put Thing in the Ice in the deck, which is an great card with instances and sorceries. Um, it's a defender, a 0-4, a 2-drop. Thing in the Ice enters the battlefield with four ice counters on it. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, remove an ice counter from Thing in the Ice. Then, when it has no ice counters on it, transform it, and it becomes a Woken Horror, which is a 7-8. It's amazing. When this creature transforms into a Woken Horror, return all non-horror creatures to their owner's hand. So it literally wipes the board and becomes a 7-8. Now, if there are other horror creatures in play, they will stay. But there aren't very many horror creatures in Frontier at all. So it will be very rare that a creature will actually stay with Thing in the Ice. It's an excellent, fun card, especially if you can get it to flip. A lot of people are afraid of it, though, so they're going to use their removal on it, but it's a great card. Good, so Thing in the Ice. Also, in the deck, I've put in four Jaces. The reason I put four Jaces in is because once... First off, it's good card advantage, of course. That's why he's such a popular Planeswalker. It's the Jace from Origins, Vin's prod Prodigy. Um... So he gets you card advantage, and then once he flips over, the minus three, um, you can cast a target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. So it, in effect, gives you more instances and sorceries than you already have in the deck. An excellent choice for this, especially if you're trying to remove counters off Thing in the Ice and untap your Chandras and your Thermal Alchemists. Good. So those are the four creatures. There is one other card that we run in this deck that is not an instant or a sorcery, and that is Fevered Visions. At the beginning of each player's end step, that player draws a card. 
If that player is your opponent and has four or more cards in hand, Fevered Vision deals two damage to him or her. So this is really nice for you because you get to draw two cards per turn. So you have great a great amount of cards because you go through them so fast because you want to be untapping these guys. So this really helps you keep your hand full. And it helps your opponent keep their hand full, which is a negative, except because their hand is full, they're taking two points of damage each turn. So in the long run, I believe it will help you more than hurt you. So that's the fifth card, and it is an enchantment, not an instant or a sorcery. So now let's talk about the instances and sorceries. All of them are red. The reason they're all red is because Chandra has to cast a red spell to untap. We can't put in blue instances and sorceries. Even though they'd work for Thermal Alchemist, they won't work for Chandra. So they're all red. And we have a lot of red to choose from, so we're in pretty good shape. Uh, for the one drops, which there's a lot of, I grabbed Expedite. Target creature gains haste until the end of the turn. Draw a card. The haste doesn't help very often. The real reason this is in the deck is because we want to be able to untap these damage doers, these pingers. It's a one drop instant, which makes untapping great. And it replaces itself. You get to draw a card when you play it. So it's not the greatest text in the world, but um, it, it still works to our advantage in this deck. And you'll find times when you do use it. Like if you play a Thermal Alchemist um, and you want to be able to tap him this turn to do damage, this will give him haste so we can tap. So it's great. Uh, shock, of course. Two points to target creature or player. Good removal. And it's also good for hurting Planeswalkers and for just going straight to the face of the other opponent. Um, and it, of course, untaps both of them. And then the other one drop is Wild Slash. Once again, two points of damage. Uh, so they're basically the same. And then uh, Incendiary Flow is a two drop. It deals three points to target player or creature. Great removal. Or once again, straight to the face or Planeswalker. And of course, Lightning Strike. Three points to target creature or player. So those are the five instances and sorceries so for our mana base we're running 10 mountains six islands and four shivan reefs shivan reefs of course is the pain land uh, you can tap it to add a generic mana to your mana pool so technically it doesn't come in tapped even though you might just need a red and have to take a point of damage it still didn't come in tapped so you can still do that to get that damage through on the turn you need it to get through. Um, and of course, you can choose between a mountain or an island. So, very versatile. Good. So, that's the basic deck tech. When I first put the deck together, I just went all red. I didn't put anything in the ice in. I didn't have Jace Finn's Prod Prodigy. And I didn't have Fevered Vision. Just all red and the two pingers. And it was fun, but it, it was not competitive in the slightest. It just didn't fire well. It didn't work out. I think I just ran out of cards too fast. So adding blue to the mix, adding islands, and grabbing that fevered vision is great. And, of course, a couple more creatures. Because, you know, I mean, having a handful of burn isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's really fun when they interact with other cards that you have. When you get to remove an ice counter or untap creatures and then tap them again, you, you want to be able to, to have more intricate play. And that's my favorite thing about the Chandra as well. It's very fun to try to figure out how am I going to do three points with her this turn so that I can flip her over. Um, yeah, it's it's a really fun deck. It's not the most competitive thing in the world yet. I do believe that Amonkhet, I hope, will have more cards that sort of help out the burn package. Um, but we'll see. 
it is really fun. It's definitely worth trying. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, hit the like button. And remember to subscribe. And definitely leave comments. Have a great night.